to be true to ourselves, we must be true to others. The bond of our common humanity is stronger than the divisiveness of our fears and prejudices. Listening to wise quotes of Jimmy Carter. I have one life and one chance to make it count for something. My faith demands that I do whatever I can, wherever I am, whenever I can, for as long as I can with whatever I have to try to make a difference. Like music and art, love of nature is a common language that can transcend political or social boundaries. America did not invent human rights. In a very real sense, human rights invented America. We have become not a melting pot but a beautiful mosaic. Different people, different beliefs, different yearnings, different hopes, different dreams. You can do what you have to do, and sometimes you can do it even better than you think you can. My position has always been, along with many other people, that any differences be resolved in a nonviolent way. We have to inspire our children and grandchildren to take on challenges and risks that at first may seem to be overwhelming, or even impossible. They need to understand that the only failure is not trying. When I reflect upon my blessings during my very nice lifetime, I am inspired to make sure that I spend the balance of the days of my existence in a productive way. I believe that anyone can be successful in life, regardless of natural talent or the environment within which we live. This is not based on measuring success by human competitiveness for wealth, possessions, influence, and fame, but adhering to God's standards of truth, justice, humility, service, compassion, forgiveness, and love. Sometimes we face potential failure, and we have to remember to try anyway to find a way to reach our goal. We can overcome many global problems and build a better world if we all work together as a community. Earlier in my life, I thought the things that mattered were the things that you could see, like your car, your house, your wealth, your property, your office. But as I've grown older I've become convinced that the things that matter most are the things that you can't see, the love you share with others, your inner purpose, your comfort with who you are. Failure is a reality, we all fail at times, and it's painful when we do. But it's better to fail while striving for something wonderful, challenging, adventurous, and uncertain than to say, I don't want to try because I may not succeed completely. We all know grandparents whose values transcend passing fads and pressures, and who possess the wisdom of distilled pain and joy. Wherever life takes us, there are always moments of wonder. It is clear that global challenges must be met with an emphasis on peace, in harmony with others, with strong alliances and international consensus. Unless both sides win, no agreement can be permanent. It is good to realize that if love and peace can prevail on earth, and if we can teach our children to honor nature's gifts, the joys and beauties of the outdoors will be here forever. Let us learn together and laugh together and work together and pray together, confident that in the end we will triumph together in the right. We know that a peaceful world cannot long exist, one-third rich and two-thirds hungry. I think the basic elevation of peace and human rights to the top of our priority list will submerge war and animosity and hatred and persecution to a very low level. As we ask God for some blessing, we have an obligation to participate ourselves in the fulfillment of those dreams, aspirations, hopes, and ideas. You only have to have two loves in your life, for God, and for the person in front of you at any particular time. 
We should live our lives as though Christ were coming this afternoon. We can choose to alleviate suffering. We can choose to work together for peace. We can make these changes, and we must. The life of every human being on earth can depend on the experience, judgment, and vigilance of the person in the Oval Office. Human rights is the soul of our foreign policy because human rights are the very soul of our sense of nationhood. We cannot be both the world's leading champion of peace and the world's leading supplier of the weapons of war. War and good health are incompatible. There's no way we can go, eradicate diseases, in an area that is at war. A strong nation, like a strong person, can afford to be gentle, firm, thoughtful, and restrained. We must adjust to changing times and still hold to unchanging principles. We hope to all of you enjoyed the video make sure like, share and subscribe the channel.